Let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist group called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX Army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercises. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. Dr. Drake. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. This gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Gravity weapons? The Federation banned them decades ago. That's right, Lance. We can't risk destructive power of that magnitude falling into the wrong hands. My weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent with the components of a gravity bomb. Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case, a potential black hole. Bill, Lance, given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces, confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. If at all possible, locate the GX army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. A remote hideout, missing super soldiers, and a doomsday weapon. Hell of a Friday. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother! Take a moment to practice movement, jumping, and shooting. Doyle tells me all Contras can jump a second time in mid-air or dash horizontally. <laughs> Simply incredible! You can aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. Access the weapon delivery network and we'll be sending frequent supply drops. Shoot a weapon pod to release its cargo. Experiment with a variety of weapon types. Henrik's in here. That's strike one. It's all three by my count. You hold a primary and secondary weapon. Swap between them strategically. We find them.
weapons have a secret overload function. You can sacrifice your active weapon for a powerful attack or strategic effect. <clears throat> Try the overload function now. I'll send a replacement weapon immediately. One moment. Henrik's in here. Known Contra had arrived when the entire jungle caught fire. <laughs> it's been a while, Bill. What are you doing here? We're here to save your ass. If the EMC was gonna stick its nose in this operation, they could have at least have sent a small army. Looks like the small army couldn't handle it. So here we are. <laughs> I suppose so. At any rate, stay alert. These guys aren't messing around. What's the sit rep, Ironside? Where are your guys? I lost contact while running advanced recon. Probably signal jammers or something. I'm not worried. Put that in your report. I'll keep in touch. Just in case things get too hot for you, Contra. I heard Stanley's update. Let him worry about the GX army. You two focus on finding the enemy base. Roger that. Knock! Right? Bet you could climb right up those rock walls by jumping onto them. <laughs> 